Hi, I'm Dennis Grubb with Solaro Energy. Today we're here at a home in beautiful sunny Southern California to show how to install the new Solaro Day, a revolutionary new solar daylighting product created and patented by Solaro Energy. In this installation we're going to show you how to install the solar panel on the roof, how to install the Solaro Day daylight simulator in the house, and how the system works. We're also going to give you some before and after shots and some simulations between existing forms of lighting like incandescent and compact fluorescent and let you uh, see the difference between how the Solaro Day performs compared to other types of products. Two possible locations for the installation of the solar panel on this roof. This one is over the garage area and over to the left you'll see another area which has also has uh, southern exposure but on this location there's an O'Hagan vent that's the flat vent that's on the roof that's a attic exhaust vent. It's a beautiful location to bring the output wire from the solar panel into the attic. The first installation is going to be on a tile roof. We're using this mock-up right here. It makes it a lot easier for me to do my demonstration. Um, in this particular case I'm using a 30 watt solar panel and I'm going to mount it on a tile um, roof. Um, there's a lot of different methods for installing on tile roofs. I like this uh, method because it's easy very secure and uh, uh, will not leak if done properly. It's going to require the use of a 2 inch by 2 inch L bracket. It's installed on the edge of the roof so that we can run the wiring output from the solar panel directly into the attic over the um, drip edge. So uh, the first thing we do is we mount the 2 inch by 2 inch L bracket to the roof. Um, you can mount it on this plane here where we would um, run the fasteners through here and let this cantilever slightly over this edge here. Another method you could do it is um, like this and then split the difference um, from the edge that overhangs here versus the edge that goes over here, requiring a fastener that would go through here and through here. I don't particularly like this method, so I'm going to use the flat method. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mark onto the L bracket the two points that I'm going to drill through the mounting of the fasteners. So I'll go to the uh, I want to come about an inch off the edge so we don't take a chance of chipping off the tile. So I'm going to put the first one here, so mark that. The next one will come about an inch down, so we're going to mark that. Now I'm going to transfer onto the roofing material a mark so I know where to drill on the tiles. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole through this um, tile material so I can get down to the um, substrate below it. Using a masonry drill bit and a uh, rotary hammer drill motor, you're going to drill the hole through the surface. The hole that you drill needs to obviously be large enough to allow the screw to go through. We want to apply some sealant through this hole so that when we um, tighten down on the fastener we're literally going to uh, put sealant all the way around the edge of the fastener so it's impossible for it to leak. First thing we do is we're going to apply some sealant in the hole. Then we're going to apply some sealant around the outside edge of the hole here and outside edge of the hole here and we're going to run some sealant down this way here to help to hold the bracket onto the tile. Now we're going to mount um, the L bracket to the roof. We'll place the L bracket directly over the two holes going to apply some of the sealant to the threads of the fasteners. When you're securing the fastener, don't secure it too tight. So we don't want to take a chance of cracking the tile. As you can see here, 
the sealant that we have applied through the upper hole has gone down between the roofing material and the tile, providing an absolute watertight seal as the screw penetrated the roofing material. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side, but in order to be able to uh, judge how far to put the next bracket, we're simply going to put the solar panel um, in this location, and then we can uh, identify the location on the other side. Now we're going to make two marks on here the same way that we did on that side, so we know where to drill our holes. So we're going to make a mark here, make a mark here. You make these holes here a little bit larger. If your holes come off center here a little bit from where you've marked them, you can easily make some adjustments um, prior to the adhesive drying. In the kit, you'll find two different length fasteners. You'll find two fasteners that are three inches long and two fasteners that are four inches long. The four inch long fasteners go on the bottom portion of the tile because you have two layers of tile you have to go through and the back uh, location is where the three inch fasteners go. The next step is to connect the power cable to the solar panel. On the back of the solar panel, we're going to find a small junction box. Remove the single center screw from the junction box. Pre-strip the cable approximately one inch long and twist the wires together. Push the cables in approximately three quarters of an inch, then secure the cable with the clamp provided. Tighten the screws down and that will keep the cable from being able to be pulled out. The positive connector is right here and the positive marking is right here. Slide the wire underneath the tightening tab. Secure the screw and do the same thing for the negative side and then Put the cover back on. Now we're going to mount the um, solar panel to the roof. Attached our power cable to the solar panel. Now we'll mount the solar panel to the brackets which we've just installed. Have the cable come down and uh, just hold it aside for right now and then put your solar panel between the two brackets. We want the solar panel to be flush with the top edge of the bracket. We don't want the solar panel to rest on the bottom of the bracket. Uh, we want it to rest even with uh, the top of the bracket. We're going to attach the solar panel with the screws supplied in the kit. These are self-tapping screws. One very important feature that you need to remember is when you're putting the screw in for the side bracket, make sure that the screw is low enough not to touch the glass. If you crack the glass, that's not covered under the warranty. So be very, very careful to make sure that the screw is being mounted below the surface of the glass. Continuing to put the four mounting screws on, make sure that the top of the solar panel is flush with the top of the bracket. You've now professionally and securely mounted your solar panel to the roof.